Hello everybody and welcome. So today I wanted to go over uh, a little bit about uh, some things I've done on my website, um, especially concerning some maps. I made some dynamic maps where uh, Rocktropia maps, for some reason it disappeared. Um, they were on a thread that had a bunch of missions and then the link broke. I had found some copies and then I also kind of made my own interactive map as a solution. Um, so I kind of wanted to go over that and I did it for a couple other places. I'll probably do it for more as I get time. Um, but yeah, the, the website is this address and I'll put it in the link below. Um, and then uh, basically this is the this is the website here. Um, you may or may not be familiar with it. Um, but I find it incredibly handy. Um, I use it a lot um, just because I've put a lot of data on the site itself. Um, but for one, first off, if you if you speak a different language, like if you if you're more comfortable with German, um, you can put German in here and it should be able to translate everything. Um, pretty well all the way through the site. Um, so no matter what, no matter what section you go to, it should it should start um, translating the different things. Um, so it's kind of a kind of a neat part of the design there. But uh, so so if you're if you're having some problems with the translation side of things, got a solution for you there. Because um, Entropy is a world, you know, world uh, world skill game. So you got to be here. You know, you got to know. You got to Got to be aware of that with data. Um, but anyhow, um, I've got a bunch of links here that I've put up uh, for different websites just throughout the years. You know, Big Mining Log, Entropia Life, Entropedia. Um, the Skill Scanner uh, is somewhere on here. I've got um, Arcadia Forums, a bunch of different forums for planets. Um, Cats and I Helper for Next Island, Unicat's site. So pretty much anything that might relate to the game that um, I feel um, is helpful. I put on there and I use, you know, just for the links alone, I use this site is because it's pretty good one stop shop for pretty much everywhere in the game. Um, so there's that. And then what the other thing I've done is uh, maps. We don't really have a whole lot of places we can go one place for maps. So I've just kind of collected a bunch of maps and and added it to the site. Um, and and a lot of people don't even realize that like Calypso used to do um or mind dog did like a competition so they've got these first second third place maps that people did and they're really great maps and they they don't get a whole lot of credit even though you know they worked really hard on those maps um but they're, they're very nice maps and uh so you know i'll put them up there because a lot of people don't know about them there's sirene maps there's space maps um and then what i've done is when what the rocktropia map disappeared basically i went ahead and made this and it was kind of just trying to see if I could come up with a solution. I've been kind of off and on trying to figure out a way to do uh, a decent map for the game through the website. The website has been kind of like a learning platform for me anyway, so it's kind of neat for me to try to figure this out. But the, pro the biggest problem with the game is that the map scaling sucks. There's not a whole lot of, like, this is as much definition of the map you can get in the game. Um, so you can't really like zoom in on Zomhattan and get really good definition like you really should be able to. Um, and if we could do that, then we could have a bunch of tiled, really nice maps that you could zoom in. But because of that, it's really hard to make maps that are really tiled and zoomed in without kind of messing up the, you know, the resolution of everything as you do it. Um, so, but that's kind of the state of the game. So basically what I've got is I've got the map of Rocktropia here. And then what we've got is, um, I've got... If you click teleporters, it'll show all the teleporters. Should show all of them. There may be one or two missing. If there are, um, you know, just let me know in game, and I can add. I can add most of the stuff in game with my tracker, um, just through the chat. And then I've got uh, shops. So if you're looking for shops, and also underneath here, it'll list all these different shops and give a waypoint. So all you got to do is click this, hit Control C, go to the game in your chat, and hit Control V, and it'll put a waypoint up for you in the game. And show you exactly where this shop is, where Unicat shop is. So we'll put a little waypoint up here, and then you'll be you'll be good to go. Um, and then the same thing for all the instances, or a lot of the instances. There's a lot of instances that aren't on here. Some of the subway keys, things of that nature, I haven't gotten around to doing. Um, so there's a lot of there's a lot of instances still that I need to add, um, but there's at least a few. And then there's some missions. Um, and then which 
yeah, you know, this, uh, some of those, some of these are off a little bit. Like you could see these guys. Um, that's from an old, that's from an old um, kind of database listing. I, 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 I've tried to clean most of them out, but there's still a couple here and there. Um, but for the most part, you know, some of these missions, you can get like a somewhere to go for the um, for for whatever part that is. And the same thing with the NPCs. Like if you're looking for a particular NPC, like if you're looking for Captain Shamransky or whatever it is, then you click that and you put a little waypoint, and you'll have it there. And then the same thing with the mobs. I, like I say, I think I've clear, cleared most of the bad ones out, but it'll show you down here at the bottom. It'll show you the Elvis. Elvis dragon is down there. Um, same thing if you go to Dekiba. It'll show you the Dekiba stalkers will be up there. And then um, it's like City Wolf. There's a bunch of, bunch of different things for City Wolf. And I'm kind of in the middle of like fine-tuning how I'm doing these maps. So this is... This is one version of it, and that's Rocktropia. So that's most of the stuff that you'll get for Rocktropia. And then I've also got like a Tulan one that I did. And the Tulan one for the mobs, like if you click Bari, it'll show you all the places for where the Bari are. And then here, if you click the actual Bari button, it'll show you all the different um, stats and the different loot table for, for Bari. Um, so it'll give you a little bit more information that way. Um, and then you can go back to the map here and... Same thing. It's got instances with the waypoints. It's got missions, NPCs. Um, it's got all the shops or most of the shops or may have been one looted. And then this is also where I'm kind of fine tuning the uh, the mining um, with my tracker to just put it straight on the map. And then eventually, instead of selecting mob, you could select you could select mining like in the tracker, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, there is, still is a way to find those those places, but you got to go through the mining tracker to do it. Um, but, but I've done that for two land and I've, I've had some pretty good feedback on that. And it, I actually use it quite a bit and same with DSEC. Um, not that you need to use it a ton once you're there a couple times, because you pretty much know we're all, there's not a ton of mobs around. Um, so you pretty much know where they're at once you're, once you're up there a couple times, but it'll show you a couple of the instances. Um, it'll show you some of the missions uh some of the npc npcs where they're at and then same thing i've got mining that i'm kind of working on um and then teleports and let me see here so yeah and then secret on the map harlem and hell i added in here they're the same old ones that disappeared i just had copies of them um so at least they're they're kind of handy and then i've got some arcadian ones i want to do the arc moon next uh for like an interactive like this to where you can where you can go through the arc moon and figure out where all the mobs are um and then there's next island map treasure the treasure island map that jack did is a really good map so i put it on there because it's worth it um if you're wanting to run around and and, and do treasure island stuff so yeah so that's the maps part of it just wanted to update people um a lot of people find it handy now the other thing that you could do for the for the mining um is in the mining tracker, if you log into this site, it becomes your information. So all this stuff disappears and it becomes whatever you want to track. And without the tracker, it's all manual entry. So you select a you select a new run and you say, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go run around in the middle of Arcadia. And you you can basically add like a you select a whole you select a set of tools that you use. And then once you've got a set of tools, you basically can start selecting like, a, okay, the Megaton MD40. It's got an amp and then I use a certain refiner and extractor with it. And then if I want to remove that amp, I can remove it and then I can add whatever amplifier to it for the run. So let's say I want to do a level 12 with it and then I can add the amp to it. It'll add the amp to it and then I could set that up to the form. So it'll say done and ready to go. So it's saying you're, you're going on Arcadia, you're going with that with that mining finder and the amp and basically all that's left is to tell it what probes you have and you say i've got 500 pet of probes or i've got you know 500 pet of ammo or both you know i've got universal end probes um and then you can set that to the form and then when you say send it basically has already started as you can see here it's got this in progress so when you go into the to the deal it's got everything all set up basically for you and then at the end of the hunt um when you're when you're all said and done, and after your after your amp is done, or you come back, then you enter in like how much your 
your TT value is. So it went from 56 to 55.58 or whatever it is. And then this went down to zero, you know, and then your ammo went down to, you know, you used what 300 pet of or 200 pet of probes. And then when you submit that, and you could even do your your enhancers and things of that nature. Then you basically select how many different types of ore did you get. So this is the manual. This is what my tracker does automatically. And that's what I hope to get released for people. But it is a way to do it. And then you say, I found some azardite. I found some adamasite. I found some, I don't know, langots. And I found some blau. And then you basically can either enter in the raw amount um, before you refine it, so you could say I found 1,500 stones of of that, um, or you could um, enter in um, the um, like ingots. Let's just say I found 25 ingots, and I found and there was two left over of the ore. And then when you enter this in, it basically will do the calculation for how much it is. And then it's basically this blue button on the side here. So you say the raw amount of 1,500 it'll figure out what the total is. If you do raw plus refined, or you just do the ped value and say it's it's 52.36 in ped value. And then when you add that in, it'll kind of, def it'll already refine it for you and say, that's how much, that's how much you got out of it. Um, and then, you know, when you're done, you've got this kind of list here that'll show you what you found there. And then you can go, go through and see what, what you can make with it. So you can see that with adamasite ing ingot, you can make all this stuff. So you can say, oh, I can make lucky laser sights. I didn't know that. And then, um, you know, things of that nature. So you can kind of go through here and see like what, what you can make with it. And then the cool thing is, is once that's all done and you're in the back end of the mining list and it's all, it's listed as complete here where it says it's all done and it says this is manual. Um, so basically... When you go through here and we go through and we search for azardite, for example, because we know we just found it there, then it's going to be in this run for today that we just did with the Omegaton detecting error, MD40, and it's going to show us what our what our return was. And then we can also go back and say, okay, so for our for um, for example, like what what runs have I done with the, with the MD40? How am I doing with that amplifier? Or how am I doing with the TerraMaster 6? Or how am I doing with um, an F211? Or how am I doing with a DSEC finder amplifier? You know, how, how am I running with a, a level four? You know, there's a lot of, lot of good data that just gets put in there for you that you can kind of search um, however, however you really want to do it. And then, like I say, for, for a record of things, for all the, all the stuff you found that day or when you're just looking for where did I where did I find that brass alloy I don't even remember well here you have a record of it so that's the that's the mining tracker part of it um which I I find really hand, I find this really handy um even though either way that I use it either it's the manual or the um or the uh automatic tracked claims where it'll automatically put it on the map because because with this one what it'll do is it'll put it um it'll put it to the map here and let me see if it or well let me let me do dsec here this is this is kind of where i'm to where it's going um but if i if i click this here and look on the map then i can show the claims for the run and show where was it on the map that i found all this stuff so this was this run was way down here in the south of the map um, and then I could go back to the run and then I can go back to the, back to the list here and be like, okay, so what about Tulane? What did I find here? And then now that it's on the map, I can go look on the map and I could show for just this run, where were all these claims? And then I could see, oh, okay, I ran from there to there and that's what I found there. And then you, if you go back to the run, you can kind of see what else did I find there? And it's all this stuff. And then you can say, okay, well, what do I use that for? Um, and it'll, it'll tell you, but, uh, so that's the mining tracker. There's also a hunting tracker I've got, um, that you're free to use. You know, there's no real ads on this. I don't make any money on it. It's just a playground for seeing how it can work. There's a little bit of a how to once you're logged in, um, it'll kind of give you an overview of what to expect. If there's any problems you have with the site, you can do a feedback, um, either a suggestion of feedback or a problem. If you do a problem and you say, um, whatever, HHH is a problem, 
then you can send it to me. And the thing is, is when I'm logged in, what I'll see is I'll see this, um, I'll see this in the down here and I can actually do something about it and then kind of react to it. So it's a quick way if you're, if you're using it at all and you find some kind of bug, which there very well could be a lot of bugs because, you know, there's, I'm one man, there's some things that I, I can't, I don't double check all of it. Um, I, most of it I do pretty well with, but there may be some things that's not working as, as well as I want it to. And I'm still working on it, that kind of thing. Um, but there's a, the same kind of thing here is if you're wanting to see like, how am I doing with IFN? It'll give you like an overall tracked result. And then it'll kind of give you a breakdown of like, of, of what happened that hunt. And so like, this one's kind of early. Um, but the hunts that I've got going now with my, with my tracker will basically break down. It's got globals. It's got enhancers lost. It, it'll tears gained mission, the missions that are done. It breaks down all the loot that I get. Um, it breaks down every minute, the DPS, um, you know, the total event, total percent of evade on a mob. Um, so it gives, it gives pretty much everything that's in the chat log. It goes to the servers and I'm not very good at putting the display back on the site for what's all there. There's a lot more information that's actually there um, than what I'm displaying just because there's not enough room and I'm not as good at displaying things, but it's, it, it's capturing a lot of stuff and I hope to have it, I hope to have it released, but you know, same thing. If you go here, you can search Kaboria and then I've got it kind of listed in the hunting side where it's already included, um, where it's got all the, all the stuff. And then you can go to the map. It's got the loot. It's got your history of it. And then you can go back to the, back to the list and kind of see, you know, the other, the other things, how you're doing. And this one's like a, all the, this was kind of a fluke just because it was a, it happened to be running for so long on, under this, under this hunt run, uh, number. So there's a ton of data under this hunt number. That was just kind of a fluke while I was testing, but, um, but yeah, it is what it is. And, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, um, I'm trying to think of what else might be handy. If you go to crafting globals, you can do this blueprint material lookup. Um, if you want to look up blueprints and see what's needed in the blueprints, and if you want to look up parts and see what they might be used for, um, then you can then you can kind of go through here and see what different things are used for. Um, if you go to the hunting globals, basically by clicking this banner. Um, it'll do the, the most recent ones that I've seen with my tracker anyway. And then you can kind of select a location and kind of see what the most recent globals I've seen there. Um, and of course, with, with my tracker, I'm not going to see all of them. So it's going to be a, a selective kind of thing, but it's something. And then there's some players. Um, there's some players that you can you can check on and see what 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 it's collected. Um, so there's some information there. And then the mining. We'll go to, um, we'll have a blueprint material lookup. And then there's also rare, rare loot that it captures. And then there's some other stuff here um, on the side that I've done. Um, like there's an old school blueprint matrix that I had a long time ago that I did. Um, that was basically what dropped off of what when I could track a bunch of stuff. But not a whole lot of real... I mean, there's some, you know, some stuff from the database that I just, I really need to make that look better, but there's, you know, the info, the info is there. If wiki's down or something, you can kind of compare, you can kind of look at things. I need to do compare things and things of that nature, but a lot of the game info is there itself. And I think that covers most of what might be one, what you might want to do there. But the big thing is the maps are incredibly handy and then the links are incredibly handy and if you have any suggestions let me know um i find this a lot of fun to kind of mess around with but i hope you have a good day and thanks for watching and half big hopefully if you play <laughs>